for it. In an age where food banks are an everyday reality, where the elderly have to choose between feeding themselves or heating their homes, and parents have to decide whether they have a meal or the children have a meal. And the government's resort to this is to laughingly tell us they could live off less, but fail to show how. This week, I live off £15 to see if it's even possible to survive off that amount. I'm Robert Yates, and this is probably the most important video that you're ever going to see. Thank God. We were on the way to the shop, and I realised I had not had breakfast yet. Now I'm sticking to this £15. So I nipped into my local home bargains and bought this. Nature Valley Oats and Toast. So it's 55p in the pack, but I was able to get this for 19 p Not a good way to start a week, but uh, hopefully we can get less food as we go on. Well, that's been a scary experience. £15 really isn't as much as I thought it was. Um, when I last did shopping by myself, a tin of beans was 9p. A loaf of bread you could get for 20p. Yeah. Right, here's what I managed to get. From, from Asda. Bird's eyes, fish fingers. For a pound. Bird's eye, chicken fingers. For a pound. Now we're going to have to move very quick here because these need to very quickly get into the freezer. So I'm just going to pass these to the wife and the wife will take them over to the freezer for me. Thanks for that comment. Right. Also from Asda we got seven packets of koi flavoured noodles. The actual only flavour I could stand. These are 15 pH. This is my dinner for the next week. So seven packs of them. Right. We then went into Aldi. And from Aldi we got some tortilla chips. Basic snackage. A six pack of chocolate mousse. Six packs of chocolate mousse for desserts. Hey, uh, what else did we get? We got a loaf of bread. Oh, I should say that the tortilla chips were 46p, chocolate mousses were 69p, the other bed we were in by said used to cost 20p. It's now 47p. Just for a loaf of bread. That should have answered that, that question that was asked to David Cameron and Boris Johnson. Yeah. Milk chocolate digestives. Which were 59p. Some chili tank spaghetti. Those are the tubes. These are the everyday essential ones. 29p. Long grain rice. Everyday essentials again because we really do have to go for the budget range. And that was 40p. Meatballs and tomato sauce, 40p. You may have seen that in the last budget meal challenge. They're quite nice. That'll make at least two meals for one person. Right. Then we went into home bargains and we got to go to bread some cheese. Some cheese grommet! And that was, according to my 89p fake slices, we've got the soy sauce to give the cheese a bit more taste. That's 69p for a large bottle. Uh, I advise you getting the large bottle because the little bottles they had was 49p and they were only about this size. Get the large bottle if you find yourself in this situation. Vimto Cordial was not 9p. 
Spell should last me the week. Um, Goblin, chicken, curry and veg. 79p. Chili con carne, 59p. Hamburgers and gravy, four of them. So that's four meals at push. A 95p. And for breakfast, I got Montana raisin and chocolate bars for 89p. So whether that will last me the week or not, I'm I'm not able to say. Um, this is the change I've got for my shopping trip. That is all I have left of fifteen pounds. You've seen coin noodles before now, surely. Well, there we go, bottoms up. I can get it onto the fork. Remember, I'm eating this every day for the next seven days. This is my dinner for the next seven days. Hope you enjoy. Mm. Oh well, they're noodles with hardly any taste to them. Seven days of this stuff I've got. I don't know how most people cope. You have to do this as a part of their real lives. Oh well. What am I having for tea tonight? Maybe we can invent something nice. I need it after breakfast and dinner today. Eee, tonight for me tea I thought I'd make a really luxurious meal. An exotic dish known as Welsh Rarebit. Or for those of you who live down south, you probably know it better as Cheese on toast. We have a bit of soy sauce for colour and flavour. Oh well. Right, it's Wednesday. Uh, we didn't fit do anything yesterday and well, I apologise for that. Uh, let me give you a quick example of what I had for tea last night. We discovered that if I put do a lot of rice and mix that in with the sauce you can get quite a consider substantial amount of food that way I managed to get enough for two meals there so that's for my tea tonight and all one thing I realised I made a mistake on was variety past few mornings all I've had is these little crappy bars that four bites they're gone and noodles for dinner I went to bed hungry Monday night. I was semi okay yesterday evening when I went to bed, but I said lack of variety. I fancied making myself a cheese sandwich. I had the bread, I had the cheese. Then it hit me. So, so from the fifteen quid I have, some basic margarine 69p the loaf only co cost me 47p because um, I like my stuff a bit hot I did try to find a good pickle but and a little bit of a salsa that's the kind of cheese sandwich and it might go nice with the tortilla chips I bought uh, that was 59p 59p and one known brand of baked beans beans on toast beans with some of the other stuff I've got I'm sure I can make some use of that I managed to get four tins of them for a pound from Pound World yeah, so I have no idea what the brand is but it's food I'm slowly beginning to realise at this stage that you go for what you can afford previous to this challenge I survived on £70 for two people food budget but then we'd have our own money that we could use getting little treats that hasn't been available to me okay it's Wednesday 
Hopefully I'll make it through to Friday. But I've got a confession to make. I've been invited this Saturday to a do. It's my father-in-law's birthday. And he very rarely celebrates his birthday, but I've decided to carry on the rest of the week until Friday with the challenge. On Saturday, the challenge comes to an end. But that's five days on 15 quid. That's £3 a day. If you don't see the rest of the video, please listen to this bit. There are people living on less than £3 a day. Next time you see a food bank, put a tin in. And here we are at the end of the challenge. At the beginning of the week, I set out to find if I could survive on £15 per week. There's a difference. There's a difference between surviving on £15 and living on £15. I've still got food left over, um, but we're coming early because, as I mentioned earlier, I've got an invite to my father in laws too. Yes, it is possible to survive on 15 quid. It's not advisable. I spent nights early on where I went to bed hungry. Um, I would advise anybody to have to do it if they have an option not to. But, at the end of the day, £15 is survival. Price has skyrocketed since the last time I went shopping by myself. Uh, no. No. I do not advise you to ever try this challenge at home. If you have any more ideas for budget challenges, this is going to be an occasional series, then please drop me a private message or say something in the comments below. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you again. Take care.